Hi guys, it's Danny. So today I'm going to show you how to notice if you have a slug or snail infestation. This is a pretty common cause with new orchids. So this is an orchid I recently purchased. I didn't get a chance to repot it yet, but I already know I have some snail problems. And I know this because if you look at this brand new root tip here, you can see a hole drilled into it. Now, this wasn't here a few days ago, and the only thing that can cause it is actually a slug or a snail. Now, they can actually munch it up, uh, the root tip, to the point of actually killing the root. So, yeah, if you have some snails in the pot, it's a serious, serious problems, uh, problem. So, you'd better watch for the signs. Also, when you're picking up new orchids, look at the roots. If it has new root tips, look at them, see if they have any holes. And, uh, yeah, stay away from those that look like this. Also, if you see this in, um, in your orchids, it's time for a repot. Okay, so that root tip was um, freshly eaten up, but I just want to show you now uh, some roots that were eaten up quite a while ago. And this is how they look like. If you notice, they seem to have a sort of a, a hole inside them, so the, the snail munched them off to the point of actually going inside the root. Needless to say, the roots are all dead. Um, they cannot branch out when uh, when they are in this stage. So yeah, if you see something like this on your orchid, that is definitely a snail. Snails don't necessarily go only for the root tips. They do prefer fresh stuff. And this can be new growth as well, whether it's a new pseudobulb or a new flower spike. And I have a case here on my Cymbidium. This is a new growth, which I believe was a pseudobulb, that got eaten up at the base as it was growing. And the result is the new growth has died. It cannot develop anymore because inside it is actually pretty, pretty hollow. Um, the snail managed to eat all the inside. So, yeah, look for these signs and try to stay away from uh, orchids that present holes in the new growth and in the roots. In some cases, snails or slugs will go for the flowers or the buds as well. So look at the flowers and if you see any um, hole that resembles the hole in the root I just showed you, uh, then that is a snail infestation sign and you'd better stay away from that orchid. Now there is um, actually no way to um, know if an orchid is infested unless you see these signs but many of them might have eggs might have tiny little slugs that can eat up the roots in the inside in the pot and being that not all orchids come in clear plastic pots unfortunately you cannot really see it so the best thing you could do after you enjoy the flowers um, is to definitely repot the orchid wash out the roots as fast as a as good as you can. Um, I also do something else. I soak the roots and I spray the entire plant with hydrogen peroxide just to be sure that I kill, kill off any small snails or eggs if there is anything like that. Um, I will not talk about how to completely eradicate them yet. Maybe I'll do another video on it. It's, um, it's a hassle for me actually. So I just wanted to show you the signs and uh, the prevention is actually the best solution, um, the best thing you can do. So, any new orchid, repot it, don't wash it, don't water it in the same water you water uh, the other orchids. Um, so yeah, try to prevent spreading of the infestation and please wash the roots and dis disinfect them. If you have uh, rubbing alcohol, you can make a spray with that. If you don't, if you cannot find it, you use hydrogen peroxide concentration 3%. You can buy it directly from the pharmacy. And uh, yeah, this is about it. Um, you better stay safe than try to treat afterwards. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful and I hope you don't have uh, cases of snails. They're really, <laughs> really bad. Um, really, They're really a pain, really. I hate them. So yeah. Stay well and uh, take care of your orchids. And if you want to see other videos, you can just subscribe to my channel. If you want to leave me questions or suggestions or anything, you can leave it in a comment and I'll get back to you. Also remember, I'm doing the daily Q&A question and answer. So uh, yeah, look out for that. And if you have questions, I can um, answer them in a video. If I have stuff to show you regarding your question, um, that's even better. So okay, thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.